Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Half-Life 2. And today we get to mess around with our new favorite weapon some more. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Molten Rod Crossbow with scope attachment. <laughs> I mean, this thing is seriously insane. There was a guy up here right at the end of last episode. We shot him. The thing never made contact with him, but it killed him anyways. Like, I went back and I watched the video. That thing seriously, when it con when it quote-unquote connected with him, it was like seriously a foot and a half above his head, but just the sheer terror that it instilled in him made him just fly off of that thing, and then all of his bones shattered upon hitting the ground out there, so <laughs> apparently this may have the widest hitbox of all time. And now, let's see, bridge to Terabithia access field inactive, which I'm assuming that means we might be able to access the bridge now? I'm not really sure. Oh boy. None of the things I'm hearing now sound good. Oh god. Oh no. It's one of those gunship things again. Okay. Really quick. Okay, we've got three. But I think we're gonna need more than three to be able to kill that stupid thing. Um, oh boy. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Okay, I've got an idea. Um, oh. Okay, that's, that's not a bad start. I mean, we can kind of... It's, it's nice to be able to kind of like bottleneck him in here. He's not really gonna be able to... He can't come in here, obviously, so we can kind of lure him into a spot that we can just shoot at him. However, this is going to cause a problem when we run out of these, because I don't really know where else we can find these. I mean, I recall there being just like a box full of these, like, not too far away. Um, is maybe... Oh, come on! I'm trying to switch to this. There we go. Maybe there's a... Okay, you know what? I think if we go back across the way, there's totally one over there. So, we'll try that, and if it doesn't work, then, well, this is gonna suck a lot. Ah! Oh! Oh! Okay, let's, I don't need more people to deal with during this. It's, it's enough on its own! Oh. By the way, guys, I, I apologize if either A, my voice sounds kind of weird, or if I'm not as talkative tonight. I've got that, that sore throat that I've been stricken with. It, uh, it's not really getting any better. I, I think that we're going to be running into a problem here <laughs> quite soon, actually. So, uh, I'm going to try to keep my talking down just a little bit tonight. Uh, but we'll see if we can get some good progress. And that, that would be... And progress always trumps me talking. Because <laughs> sometimes it gets in the way. I, I, I read a... Whoa, boy. I read a whole bunch of comments today <laughs> from my uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, Let's Play. And... There was this one guy, you know, bless his soul for watching my videos, but he's just like, dude, there are times where you're talking, like, you're talking too much, and, like, you're totally missing half of the mission debrief stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I, I know, that, that'll definitely happen. That is, it's, believe me, doing, doing solo commentary is both a blessing and a curse <laughs> in, in itself. But you know what, it, it, oh, oh, god, what am I doing? Oh, man, I need to not just go all freaking, you know, Hercules into that sort of thing! <laughs> I don't really know what I meant by that at all, by the way. I, I don't think that going Hercules into anything makes really any sense. Unless, well, I mean, Hercules was a strong man. You know, he was, he was, he definitely knew what he was doing, but I don't think that, you know, anybody has ever classified going into something unprepared and just gung-ho would be considered going Hercules into something. What the hell is it? Oh, there he is. Yeah, come on out. I dare ya. Is that good enough? Not good enough. God, there's gotta be... I gotta be able to land one more on it. Seriously. That was just a bad shot in general. General Sal! Oh! Yay! He's dead! Oh dear god, that was just a nightmare. <laughs> I'm gonna put you right straight into a hangman's noose! Okay, that's that's good. So, okay, really quick on a on a it's not related to anything at all, but it was something that I was thinking about. I think it was yesterday. I don't even know. I, I can't even keep track of my days anymore. But can we all really quick for those of you that watched Hey Arnold a lot when you were when you were a kid or even just semi recently? Can we all just for one moment acknowledge how incredibly fucking creepy the Jolly Ollie Man is? Like, that guy might be one of the creepiest characters from a child's cartoon that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure there's way worse <laughs> versions of that, but that dude was straight-up nightmare fuel, man. Like, A, first of all, he's 
he's a bad enough employee that he got fired from 56 jobs, and, uh, like, just, like, the facial expressions that he makes, like, there's definitely one, and I don't remember exactly what episode it was from, oh boy, but there was an episode where, like, he's handing out two, like, two ice cream cones, and, like, the kids look up at him, and he just has, the, like, the, it's like the way that the shadowing hits him and everything, he looks like, <laughs> like, just a, a, a pure minion of Satan is, is the only way that you could classify it. It is, is absolutely just, he is just Satan incarnate, if there was anything to be mentioned there. It is, it is absolutely just awful. I think the only person creepier than him, though, in that show is his own dad. Uh, you know, I think you only see him once. Oh, how awesome would this be if we can pull it off? Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, man, that was so worth every second of it. That was everything that I hoped for and more. That was great! Oh, that was, that was simply lemonade. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, dude, his dad is freaking creepy. Like, he's got, like, that weird, like, I had a serious medical condition back in 87, and now I can't even open my, I can't even open my right eye anymore type of face. And he always just looks like, you know, like, he always looks like somebody just, like, like he just stubbed his toe. Like, he always, he just has, like, that, as, like, a perma face almost. Oh, hey. So glad you turned around at the right time to figure out what was going on. <laughs> I don't really know why he decided to go ass out on that one. It was very awkward for me to look at. But he, and his, not to mention, among other things, he has an incredibly creepy voice, his dad does. Uh, it's not the problem, Willie. The problem is you. I'm gonna give you till sundown to sell out the rest of your stock. Or else, you're fired! <laughs> fired? Dude, he's... That's a... It's it's kind of like a really sad episode, because you find out just, like, exactly how much the Jolly Ollie Man, like, totally loathes and is, like, kind of terrified of his own job. Like, dry... Like, his like his depiction of what it's like to dry... Uh, to, like, go on his routes <laughs> in, like, neighborhoods that you would think would just be straight out of, like, poverty-stricken Detroit or something. Is this where we're supposed to be going? It, it looks like it's a travelable area. I guess so. I mean, I'm guessing what we did had something to do with that bridge, and this looks like it can take us up to the top of that. I guess there was totally a spot right over there, too, but whatever. They're all going to the same place anymore. Um, but yeah, he's like talking about like how he has how he drives like five miles an hour down those streets, you know, doling out ice cream sandwiches and like, oh god. Oh god, it's eight mile all over again! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh wow! <laughs> Somehow we lived through that through that initial blast, though. That's the crazy part. I think the other crazy part is to realize exactly how long we've gone without dying in this. You guys realize that at all? Come on, Freeman! Oh no! Crap! <laughs> I forgot to turn. I turned the thing like I was trying to go somewhere, but we didn't get anywhere. Um, but yeah, dude, like, we've gone a really long time without dying, I came to realize. Like, that was our first death in quite a while. But yeah, dude, it's, it's creepy. Like, the way he depicts everything, like, he's got, like, all the kids, like, ganging up on his station and whatever, and it's just, that is, that is not a good look. And so, uh, but, on another note, exactly how crappy of an employee does that man have to be to get fired from 56 jobs? That is a lot of jobs, man. Like, like even like I'd even say that like have it like even like six to ten jobs is a lot of jobs. I mean, that's kind of it's kind of hard for me to. It, it's weird. It sounds weird coming from me because I've only had one job my entire life, but that's because I also own the business I work for. So I guess that makes that kind of easy. But still, fifty-six jobs is a lot, and I I kind of wonder how many of those times it was him working for his dad and him getting fired by his dad. But at the same time, maybe not, just because of, like, the way he reacted when his dad said that he'd fire him. <laughs> I can't talk to that man. I ever could ever since I was a kid. <laughs> You've known your boss ever since you were a kid? He's my dad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's a good-ass episode, but I'm st I'm sticking to my, my opinion that that is one creepy-ass dude. So, boy. Alright, well, this is a nice, uh, this is a nice little change of... Of skeenery. 
I haven't really had a lot of this going on lately. I kind of like it though. I've been I've been waiting for like the uh, the quote unquote like survival horror element of this to kind of set in a little bit. We've had I think a lot of these. I mean I don't know if this would really even really classify as that though. Like I know that like Half Life One really had a lot of kind of like horror elements in there. There's not really so much of it in this game though. Like this is one of the, like this and we were going through the cemetery were kind of the two main moments that really gave me that like survival horror feeling. Where the hell that guy come from? I totally don't remember seeing this guy at all. He just all of a sudden just showed up. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. You can't just go throwing flammable barrels at me, you dick. Come on. What did I oh boy? Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! Oh boy! Okay, woo! Okay, we need some health and we need it right now. <laughs> I mean, I wanna rock! Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I need some health right now. Oh my god, this is not okay. Dude, come on! This is like severely not the jam. <sighs> I really wish I was back on that, right back on that little control center in the bridge. There was totally some health to be had there. Hey, here's an idea. For all you little, little, uh, little, uh, ham hocks over here, how about one of these? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to use too many of those. I feel like if I use too many of those, then, uh, I feel like, I feel like that's, that's the kind of weapon that we're not going to be getting a lot of ammo for in the, over the rest of this game. <laughs> Obviously, since they come in stocks of, like, I mean, you're, you max out your ammo at five. That's, that's definitely never, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Alright, I see what's going on here. Okay! Alright, you fucking alien rip off you. <sighs> okay, we can stop whenever you're ready. Good lord. <sighs> okay, we, we, we have health now. That's, that at least helps. I, I was kind of afraid that how this was going to shake down for a minute. Took that thing clean off his head. <laughs> he like looks up at me like, "Thank you, thank you." You have no idea how bad that thing fucking smells. <laughs> it's so gross. It smells like moldy pizza and gravy. Okay, I have an idea. We're we're gonna we're gonna grin we're gonna we're gonna toss some some grenades into this party a little bit here, right after we do some of this. I know who wants to have some of this. Hey yo. That'll help a little. Oh, hey. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Here he comes. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Yep. Put the thing down, damn it. Wow. I can't believe I killed him in one freaking thing. That was amazing. Normally, those guys take so much more than that. How the hell have we been able to get away with that sometimes and other times we don't? Oh, God. Come on. I know what you're up to! It's, again, by the way, it's so weird that it's working out like that. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, no, you don't. You come here. Yeah, how about that? How about my ability to rip your damn head off at my own will? Ugh. At least they're gone. I'm, I'm cool with that. And we're near. Oh. <laughs> okay, I just remember one more quote from the Jolly Alley Man that's actually really funny. <laughs> It's the part where, um, I don't know why my voice is cracked there, apparently I'm going through puberty again. Apparently, it's, it's one of the parts when Arnold's, like, trying to teach him how to not be such a jackass to people all the time. And he's all, he was, like, giving him, like, the, the speech of, you know, treat, treat your customers with respect, or, and, like, always, something with, like, always saying, like, please and thank you. And he, <laughs> he goes, please take your crummy change, and thanks for nothing! <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny because he just he has such like this upset face about it like you just gave me money But I'm still gonna be an asshole to you about it um, But yeah, please take your crummy change and thanks for nothing. Oh Really you took two shots with that and you just shrugged it off like it was nothing. Oh, no, you don't Oh, no, you don't that guy's gonna get one of those, but you're gonna get the crow Yeah, How about that? Are there any more? Are there any more of these guys anywhere? I'm going to just err on the side of, of caution and say that they probably will be. There will be more to be had here. Can we move all these cars out of the way? Is that something that we can do? We can. Awesome. I kind of feeling that might happen. It's like, kind of like that spot on the uh, 
I got spot on the uh, on the freeway where we had to clear out all the cars for our our little our little buggy. I'm gonna go all the way back and get it now. Oh, I didn't realize that all of our auxiliary power was tied to the same thing. Like our flashlight and our sprint function is actually all part of the same little uh, little doohickey. Well, that's interesting to know. I think it was all the way back here. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, you know what? With all that said, I guess we're kind of in a safe spot right now, because even when we get into this thing, we got a, a lot of daylight ahead of us. So, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Half-Life 2, we're going to jump in our buggy and go ahead down this tunnel and see what we can find. Hopefully, something positive. Maybe, like, a little refugee camp with, uh, with like, a Lambda Locator spot. We can get all, we can get some extra ammo, some suit, uh, little, little electricity packs or whatever, and we'll call it good, but... Until then, my friends, this has been your host, AMF1534, saying uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.